few weeks ago in the Congregational Bible Study, I posed this question. Which do we value more, Jesus or baptism? And as the congregation struggled with an answer, they overwhelmingly said, Jesus, well, that's not necessarily the right answer. It's a false dichotomy because you can't separate Jesus and baptism. When we look at, again, Luther's catechism, and he says to us, how can water do such great things? He reminds us very clearly that it's not the water alone, but it is the water and God's word added to the water. God's word added to the water. You remember what St. John writes in the beginning of his gospel? In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Baptism and water are so powerful because the water is combined and joined with Jesus. There is no separation, for where there is baptism, there is Jesus. And where there is Jesus, there is baptism. That question comes up again when we talk about, should I be rebaptized? Sometimes people say, I don't remember my baptism. I'm not sure if I was baptized. Other times people argue and say, you know, I walked away from faith for a long time. I didn't live like a baptized child of God. I think I should be rebaptized. But what's happening there is we're placing the emphasis on baptism, not on God and His Word and His water, but on my reaction, on what I did or what I didn't do. You see, if I've walked away from my baptism, if I've not believed for a while and now come back and believe, the answer is not to be rebaptized, because that would be saying that God did not work the first time that somehow the water or the Word did not do the things that it needed to do, and now I need to do it again. No, that's not the right answer. The right answer is God has given you this gift of baptism. He has forgiven you all your sins, and He promises to continue to be with you, strengthening your faith. So He gives us another gift. If you know your catechism, you know what comes right after we talk about baptism. It's confession. That's the natural result of being baptized. Being baptized in water and God's Word, and now faith exists, and as that faith exists, that faith exercises itself by believing and by confessing. By coming to our Father and saying, Lord, please forgive me for my unbelief. And just like Jesus forgave Peter, and just like we hear the words of forgiveness given by the pastor on Sunday morning, so you too, dear saint, are forgiven. How can water do such great things? Because it's not just water. It's water and God's Word given to you to work the work of forgiveness.